Hi guys, if you are the one who would like to perform and create enterprise level advanced analytics solution using Microsoft services with Microsoft Power BI, then in this video, I'm going to let you know about all those services. And if you would like to know more, please stay tuned with me till the end of this video. All right. Now, as you can see on your screen, these are the different Azure services that you can use to perform advanced analytics solutions. Now we are going to go through them one by one briefly. And at last, I'm going to let you know my favorite advanced analytics services that I would like you to start your career with. So the very first, we are going to talk about Azure Snips Analytics. Azure Snips Analytics is an infinite analytics services that combines data integration, enterprise data store and big data analytics. You should know about Azure Snips Analytics because you can create your data warehouse in this, you can perform serverless calculations and much more. Everything you're gonna get into Azure Snips Analytics, including Microsoft Power BI. Second is Azure Databricks. Now Azure has a collaboration with Databricks as well so that you can utilize all the features of Databricks. Plus you can also use additional services with Microsoft Azure Databricks. As you can see on your screen, this is just a brief introduction about it. And if you would like to know more, I'm going to provide all the links in the description section and you can go there and you can check yourself one by one. Thirdly, let's talk about Azure HD Insights. With the help of Azure HD Insights, you can provision cloud clusters for Hadoop, Spark, R Server, HBase, and Storm. That means you can perform all the big data analytics with the help of Microsoft Azure HD Insights. Over here, you would find certain other helpful information what you can do, how you can create your project in an open ecosystem, and also how you can integrate with Azure services within your own system. Everything you need to know is available under Microsoft Documents. Number three is Azure Data Factory. Azure Data Factory is the Microsoft Azure services which is going to help you to perform ELT operation in Microsoft Azure Cloud. That means whether you have to copy your data, you have to transform your data, you have to load your data somewhere, or maybe you have to just create certain pipelines which are going to help you to load the data inside your data warehouse. Everything you can perform with the help of Azure Data Factory. We have created a dedicated tutorial for this and that is free of cost. So please don't forget to check the link in the description section where you can learn about Azure Data Factory. Next is Azure Machine Learning. As we all are aware about that, the career in machine learning and AI is going to help you to grow in your career. Azure Machine Learning uses an enterprise level service for the end-to-end -end machine learning lifecycle. With the help of Azure Machine Learning, you would get a lot of other benefits. For example, you can prepare your data, you can build and train your data, you can validate and deploy, and at last you can manage and monitor. Azure Machine Learning is also going to help you to accelerate time to value with rapid data model development. It's going to help you to operate at scale with MLOps. And not only that, you can deliver responsible machine learning solutions to your customers. Azure Machine Learning is going to help you to innovate on a hybrid platform that is more secure and compatible. So why not we start with Azure Machine Learning? If you are trying to make your career in data science, then I'll suggest you to start with Azure Machine Learning. Next is Azure Stream Analytics. It's going to provide you serverless real-time analytics from the cloud to the edge. That means if you have to perform real-time solutions, or maybe you just want to ingest the data in real time on your Microsoft Power BI dashboard, then you can utilize this service. This is gonna help you to create real time analytics dashboard. It comes with a lot of features. You can create your streaming pipelines in minutes. Not only that, you can also run your mission critical workloads with sub second latencies. Next is data leak analytics. Data leak analytics is really one of the core concept when it comes to the advanced analytics solutions for Microsoft Power BI with Microsoft Azure. It is the distributed analytics service that makes working with big data easy, where you can store any data at any time. And also it's going to help you to build your solution in seconds, scale instantly, and you can pay per job. Next to this is Azure Analysis Services. Well, guys, whenever you are creating big data analytics solutions using Microsoft Power BI, then using Azure Analysis Services would be the optimal decision. With the help of Azure Analysis Services, you can analyze hundreds of gigi. With the help of Azure Analysis Services or AAS, you can analyze hundreds of GBs of data very easily. It is very easy to start and scale efficiently. You can transform complex data into one clear vision. You can create enterprise level data model or analysis model. You can also align performance with the speed of business operations. 
Next to this is Event Hubs. Event Hubs receive telemetry from millions of devices. Event Hubs is a fully managed real-time data ingestion services that is simple, trusted, and scalable. You can stream millions of events per second from any source so you can create pipelines of dynamic data and respond instantly to business challenges. If you would like to read more, I'll provide you a link in the description section where you can read everything about it, that why should you choose the event hubs, what are the different benefits and how you can utilize it and how this is going to help you to build the enterprise level solutions. Over here on your screen, you can see that one of the example where you have a streaming data, then with the help of Azure Event Hubs, you can ingest the data into Azure Event Hub where you can store the data onto your Azure Blob Storage and then you can prep and train using Azure Stream Analytics and finally you can consume the data even directly to Microsoft Power BI Dashboard or maybe you can just ingest into the Azure SQL Database or maybe you just want to use the Azure Cosmos DB. So everything depends on you but this is one of the best solution for the streaming data. Next coming to the Data Explorer. I'm, I'm sure you have heard about what is Azure Data Explorer. If you haven't, then let me tell you guys. Azure Data Explorer is a fast, fully managed data analytics service that analyzes large amount of data from applications. For example, you are working on the IAM data and you want to analyze it. And if you are going to ask me what is IAM, that is Identity and Access Management, many big organizations, for example, British Petroleum or maybe Shell, they have their dedicated reporting system for that so that they can analyze their security. Where you have TBs of data, the data that is generating every second, and you have to keep an eye on every login, logout, etc. So in that case, Azure Data Explorer is very helpful. Soon we are also going to create a tutorial on Azure Data Explorer. So if you haven't subscribed our channel, please do subscribe for the latest videos and latest tutorials. In the Azure Data Explorer, you can analyze all the data. You can also visualize the data over there and you can literally visualize, analyze millions of records of data instantly. The performance of this is incredible and you will get to know once you would start using it. And Next one is Azure Data Share. Azure Data Share is a simple and secure big data sharing service. With the help of this, you can share data in any format and any size from multiple sources with other organizations. You can easily manage what you share, who receives your data, and the terms of use. Data Share provides full visibility into your data sharing relationships with an easy to use interface. So if you are interested in using this service where you have to connect with other organizations where you would like to share your data and you would like to work with it. So definitely you can do that. With the help of this, definitely you can easily share your data. You can create in Azure services. The provision is going to be quite easy. You have to just fill out certain details like name, your subscription, resource group, location, and in seconds you can create it. And with the help of different security or access management methods, you can also control the security of your data. So that's all about the Azure Data Share. And as I mentioned, if you haven't signed in for Azure, you can sign in for free. You can use your personal email address or work email address. It hardly matters, but you would need a credit card to do that. All right, then we have the Azure Time Series Insights. So what is Azure Time Series Insights? Well, guys, with the help of this service, you can visualize IoT data in real time. As I mentioned previously, we can also use the event hub to get the streaming data. But Azure Time Series Insights is a particular tool for visualizing IoT data in real time. You can turn IoT data into actionable insights as well, whether you want to visualize it, you want to compute it, or maybe you want to perform some aggregation on the top of it. You can improve operations and decision making with decades of IoT data delivered through rich visualization and out of the box experience. Use time series data insights and interactive analytics to accelerate the adoption of IoT analytics data in your organization. That's what you can do with the Azure Time Series. Azure Time Series is IoT ready. It is for analysis of semi dynamic and cold data. You can perform powerful visualization with the help of this. Not only that, you can also contextualize your data based on your IoT model. So that's all what you can do with the help of this service. Now let's move forward. And here we have Microsoft Graph Data Connect. Please do remember that this service is currently in preview. With the help of this service, you can get a high throughput secure connector designed to copy select Microsoft 365 productivity data set to your Azure tenant. And if you would like to know more, again, as I mentioned previously many times that you would get all the links in the description section. So please don't forget to check it out and you will get all the documentation as well if you would like to know more about this one. At last, we have Azure Chaos Studio and this service is also in preview. 
To be honest guys, these last two services, I haven't used them as well personally, but these services are gonna definitely help you to perform your advanced analytics solutions. For example, this Azure Chaos Studio is going to improve application resiliency by introducing errors and simulating failures. But what are these? How to use them, etc. You can come on this portal and you will get everything in this one. Over here, you will get to know the certain benefits of Azure Chaos Studio. For example, subjecting your Azure applications to real or simulating failures. You will also see how your application responds to actual interruptions. And not only that, you can integrate Chaos experiments into every stage of your quality validation. And lastly, this Chaos service is going to use the same tools as Microsoft engineers to build cloud service resiliency. So everything you would get it over here. Now the question comes, where you should start? Well guys, if you would like to perform the advanced analytics solutions with Microsoft Azure, then the simplest one is get to know about Azure Data Lake Analytics. What is Azure Data Lake? What is a blob storage? How to create it? How to provision it? Next to that, you can move on Azure Analysis Services. That is another important part. If you have previously worked on MSBI suite, that is Microsoft BI Solution suite, for example, SSIS, SSAS, SSRS, then you must know about SSAS as well. So this is SSAS tabular services in Microsoft Azure. That's how we call it Azure Analysis Services. So please start working on that. After that, you can move on Azure SNPs Analytics, which is one of the most important part. If you are going to prepare a data warehouse in cloud or you want to analyze the data using Spark, or maybe you want to perform any other advanced analytics services over there, or maybe you want to provision ADF, etc. So you would learn everything inside it. Azure ADF is also a part of SNPs Data Analytics. And lastly, you should also start working with Azure Databricks. So those are my favorite Azure Advanced Data Analytics services that you should start with. And after achieving them, then probably you can go with the Event Hubs or Azure Stream Analytics for the real-time data analysis. Please do let me know what do you think about it. If you have any question or concern, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you are over here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest videos and updates. See you in the next video.